Hey, community group leaders and teachers. I hope you're doing well and having a fabulous day. Welcome to this week's Leadership Minute. This is one more tool that we can have in our tool belt to lead more effectively. Starting uh, last week for the month of November, we are exploring different ways that we as community groups can, as community group leaders can grow relationships to grow our community groups. You know, Paul, probably one of the greatest authors in the New Testament, um, one of the strongest missionaries in the New Testament, who wrote more than half of the New Testament documents, he invested intentionally in the lives of everyone he encountered. The Bible records more than 140 people that he had relationships with. And, and many of those relationships were actually quite deep. They weren't shallow. And that became the fuel through which he did ministry, that he would challenge people to grow and, and everything else. And so I wanna explore ways that we can look at that as a model to say, what can we do to grow? One of the things that, that Paul did really well was develop people one on one. You certainly see that in the letters to, to Timothy and the letter to Titus. You see that in the letter to Philemon, that, that Paul was passionate about pouring into individuals one on one. And so we talked about that last week. This week, I wanna talk specifically about doing group projects together, going out with a team of people and doing stuff. One thing that Paul did really well is as he traveled from town to town, was that he had his band of traveling companions, whether it was Luke, John Mark, uh, Timothy, Titus, Silas, Barnabas, someone else. He always had several people with him as he traveled from town to town to be able to invest in churches. I, I think one of the best things we can do as community group leaders is to take people with us and do service projects. Whether we're going to the hospital to pray for people in our group that, that we care about or people in our church that we care about, whether we happen to be going, serving at John 316 or, or something else. As we intentionally do service projects with other people on our group, we're rubbing shoulders with them, we're building deeper relationships with them, we're also giving them opportunities to use the gifts and talents God has invested in them to minister, and we get to see what strengths they've got, they get to see what strengths we've got, that gives us more opportunity to grow with them in relationship with them and challenge them ultimately to grow closer to God. It's just one more way we can build a relationship for the sake of helping them grow in their faith. So my challenge to you as a leader is find opportunities to serve with those in your community group. If you have any questions about this or any of the other relational-based tips that I'm offering for this month or anything else that we've been discussing through these leadership minutes, please feel free to reach out to me, shoot me an email or text. Hey, I I'm excited to see what's happening in the days ahead as we continue to develop Jesus followers who become difference makers for a world of people far from God. And I look forward to seeing you back here again next week for our next round of Leadership Minute. Hey, blessings, friends.